What? The chief of the Hall of Souls' expression underwent a change upon hearing these words. Old man Hanemo possesses the strength of an advanced five-star Doshang. On the other hand, Xiao Chan was merely an intermediate five-star Doshang. Given such a gap, it should not be difficult for old man Hanemo to be victorious. If it was really so easy to deal with Xiao Chun, he would not have gained such a reputation back then, Hun Xianemo replied in a faint voice. Although his reputation had been well known during that era, it was still lacking when compared to someone like Xiao Chan. If Xiao Chun had not been trapped in an illusion for so many years, it was likely that even he would be no match for Xiao Chen. The chief of the Hall of Souls frowned. He lifted his head and studied the intense battle. At this moment, Xiao Chen still seemed to be at a disadvantage. At a glance it seemed that he was in a panic while dealing with the combined attacks of Old Man Hanemo and the Soul Cursed Toad. Hopefully everything will be smooth. Clang! The Soul Cursed Toad's huge body was like a cannonball as it ruthlessly struck the large axe. That frightening attack forced Xiao Chen a couple of steps back. After having stabilized his body, a dark and chilly wind rushed toward a fatal spot on his back with vicious and tricky movements. Xiao Chen twisted his body and swung the axe behind him. It sent that poisonous snake-like chain flying. Although Xiao Chen had blocked this dangerous attack, his blood axe rebounded. His entire arm felt a little numb. Xiao Chen, regardless of how experienced you are, I surpass you in terms of strength. The thought of defeating me is nothing but a fantasy of an idiot. Old man Hun Mo's figure appeared on the head of the soul cursed toad. He looked at Xiao Chen and coldly laughed. In front of all the heroes in the world, you, a renowned powerful person from back then, has been forced into such a miserable state. It is better to simply withdraw and avoid the humiliation. Xiao Chen's figure flashed and appeared in the air. He glanced at old man Hanemo. Not a single fluctuation appeared on his old face, but the vast and mighty Do Chi that fluctuated around his body suddenly weakened. Both of his hands gripped the axe handle tighter as he lifted it above his head. One axe strike and I'll finish you off. Hemph, arrogant. Old man Hanemo displayed a slightly cold face when he heard this arrogance. His heart became cautious. The mighty Do Chi within his body swiftly circulated like flood water. It formed countless Do Chi swirls on the surface of his body. Xiao Chen lifted his blood axe high above his head. The Do Chi around his entire body was gradually destroyed. If it wasn't still possible to see his figure with one's naked eye, everyone would have started to think that his breath had suddenly disappeared from this world. Rumble. Layer after layer of dark clouds suddenly appeared as his aura disappeared. Lightning danced within the dark clouds like silver snakes. A loud rumbling sound reverberated through the sky. Xiao Chen's aura suddenly erupted the moment a thunderbolt surged. His aura was like an actual pillar of air as it shot toward the clouds. The most shocking aspect was that Xiao Chun had soared to the advanced level of the fifth star of the Doshan class. How is this possible? Old man Hun Mo's face drastically changed as he sensed Xiao Chen's aura suddenly catch up with him. He had clearly detected Xiao Chen's actual strength at the intermediate level of the fifth star of the Doshan class. How could it? Universe cut, severing the universe. Xiao Chun did not provide Old Mo with any time to react. The moment his aura soared, the blood axe in his hand abruptly made a strange arc across the sky. Soon after, a thumb-thick bloody line appeared in the sky. The air the bloody line cut seemed to have been severed into two. Lightning rumbled as a bloody aura soared into the sky while a murderous desire churned. Swish! Old man Hanemo felt his limbs turn cold as he faced the strange bloody line which was rapidly magnifying in his eyes. An aura of death quietly rose from deep within his heart, but it was fortunate that he was not an ordinary person. He quickly suppressed the panic in his heart. A brutalness rose on his shriveled face at the same time. 
If he did not risk it all at this moment, he would definitely find it difficult to escape death. Devour curse insect. Old man Hun Mo's hand pressed on the soul-cursed toad's head in front of countless pairs of eyes. The soul-cursed toad immediately emitted a sharp cry as a blood glow erupted. Everyone watched as the enormous body of the soul-cursed toad melted at a rate visible to the naked eye. Finally, it turned into a pool of viscous blood that was swallowed into old man Hun Mo's stomach. Gulp! After old man Hun Mo swallowed the soul-cursed toad, his body began to spit out clusters of blood. At a glance, he appeared quite frightening, and the mighty Dou Chi that lingered around his body appeared quite terrifying. At this moment, his Dou Chi had become extremely violent. Wail! An earth-shaking wail was emitted from old man Hun Mo's mouth. The energy of the world swiftly gathered in old man Hun Mo's unusually large mouth. Within a short instant, a viscous blood ball appeared. Bang! The viscous blood ball rushed out in front of many pairs of eyes the moment it appeared. Finally, it collided with the bloodline that was sliding across the sky. Bang! A powerful blood light spread upon collision, enveloping the entire mountain range in a dark red color. Some violent emotions quietly appeared in the hearts of some of the weaker individuals. This caused their eyes to turn a bloody red but it was fortunate that those who had come were individuals with some strength. Their strength protected them from handing control over to the violent emotions. The eyes of Xiao Yan's group on the fallen mountain continued to scan blood-colored ball that was thousands of feet across, even though there was a great distance between them and the ball. They could still sense the frightening energy that was contained within the blood ball. If this energy spread, at least half of the fallen mountain would turn into flat land. Where is ancestor Xiao Chan? Xiao Yin was about to start to search because of this thought flashed through his heart when two figures suddenly flew out of the huge blood-colored light ball. These two figures heavily shot into two different mountains. A frightening force shook these two mountains until they collapsed. This scene caused everyone to feel startled. They had just let out an exclamation when two figures flew out in a swaying fashion. Their blood-covered bodies appeared somewhat miserable. Ancestor Xiao Chan Elder Hun Mo Lib Dain Both parties were startled after seeing the miserable appearances of these two individuals. Clearly, no one expected them to fight with such ruthlessness. Xiao Chan wiped the trace of blood off his face. He glared at old man Hunamo in the distance, and his eyes became somewhat grave. His strength was indeed only at the intermediate level of the fifth star of the Doshan class. He was unable to continuously unleash that attack from earlier, which could match an advanced five-star Doshan. However, the regretful thing was that old man Hunamo was also a ruthless individual. He actually swallowed the curse insect at the last moment and averted a disaster. Of course, swallowing the curse insect might have greatly increased his strength, but the sequela he would experience would also be quite serious. Within the next few decades, this old fellow would have difficulty increasing his strength due to his Dou Qi being consumed by the curse insect. Xiao Chun controlled his somewhat weak body and slowly landed beside Xiao Yin. At this moment, both he and old man Hanamo no longer possessed any strength to continue fighting. While Xiao Chen's injury was a result of exhaustion, old man Hanamo was really a little miserable. Ancestor Xiao Chen, are you alright? Xiao Yin hurriedly asked after seeing Xiao Chen landed. At the same time, he swiftly handed Xiao Chen a medicinal pill that radiated a medicinal fragrance. I'm Fine. However, I'm afraid that this match is also a draw. We'll have to rely on you for the final round. Xiao Chun received the medicinal pill and swallowed it. Finally, he lamented in a somewhat regretful voice. Another draw. Yao Lao and the others by the side involuntarily and bitterly laughed. Two of the three matches bad ended in a draw. This was a little comical, but this meant that the most important match fell to Xiao Yin. 
Leave the final match to me. Draw. Hun Clan's elder, you are really too arrogant this time around? The chief of the Hall of Souls tightly frowned. Clearly, he was a little dissatisfied by the result old man Hunimo had obtained. Imph, why don't you give it a try next time around? Old man Hun Mo's face became cold. His heart was filled with fury at this moment. Not only did he fail to win, he had even lost the soul curse toad. Moreover, the injuries within his body were giving him a great headache. I have already told you to engage in an all-out war with the Sky Mansion Alliance, yet all of you have insisted on this whatever upper echelon battle. Now, you have bitten off more than you can chew. If you lose the final match, humph, there will really be a good show to see when the time comes. Old Man Hunimo furiously yelled. The existence of the Hall of Souls is extremely important to our Hun clan. Now is not the time to collide head-on with others. If you really wish for an all-out war, you will naturally be able to fight all you like after our plan has been completed in the future. The chief of the Hall of Souls replied in a faint voice. Stop uttering nonsense. Mie Xing, prepare yourself. The final match is between you and Xiao Yin. Hanamo Qin's eyes glanced at the distant Xiao Yin as he said, This match between the both of you will determine the victor this time around. The chief of the Hall of Souls slightly nodded. That brat is extremely cunning and is in possession of the purifying demonic lotus flame. You better not end up unexpectedly losing. Old man Hanamo coldly spat out. The purifying demonic lotus flame. Huh. The chief of the Hall of Souls involuntarily exchanged glances with Hun Chianimo by the side. A strange smile flashed across his eyes. The chief immediately swung his sleeve and slowly stepped forward. This chief wishes to experience just how powerful the purifying demonic lotus flame is in his hands. The many pairs of eyes around the mountain range emitted a swoosh sound, as they caught the Chief of the Hall of Souls stepping forward. The ferocious name that the Chief of the Hall of Souls once obtained within the Central Plains had reached a stage where one trembled in fear from hearing it. Although he had gradually faded from one's sight because of his prolonged retreat, his fierce reputation had not disappeared even after a long period of time. If one wished to rank the top individuals within the Central Plains, the chief of the Hall of Souls, Hun Myesheng, would take the top seat. Two draws and three battles. This has somewhat surprised this chief, but this will not be able to change the final result. The chief of the Hall of Souls was a thousand feet from Xiao Yin when he finally came to a slow stop. He lifted his head and looked at Xiao Yin. A faint smile appeared on his face. His aura was calm as he spoke. His expression did not change because of the current situation. Xiao Yan's exchanged a glance with the chief of the Hall of Souls. A hidden flow surged and the temperature of the air seemed to have risen at this moment. We should leave room to retreat when doing anything. At times, we should not be overconfident when speaking. Hall chief should take care of himself. Xiao Yan softly replied, Ha ha. The Hall of Souls does not leave anyone alive when doing things. This way of speaking is only for mediocre individuals. If one worries about all this when trying to achieve big things, one would be a little petty. The chief of the Hall of Souls loudly laughed as he quipped. Everyone felt a little excited in their hearts after hearing this verbal sparring. This fight was the most important one today. One party was the chief of the Hall of Souls and from a certain point of view, Xiao Yin could be considered the leader of the Sky Mansion Alliance. The battle between the two of them determined the victor and the loser of this battle. The clan has criticized me because of you. Back then, I gave the order to dispatch people to the Jiama Empire to capture Xiao Zhan. My thought was that we should eliminate everyone when making an attack, but this chief had undertaken a retreat to train when the order was issued. Some of my subordinates were a little lazy and only captured Xiao Zhan since I wasn't around. You managed to escape the many attempts to kill you after that first incident because they all underestimated you. Within a short decade or so, 
You have reached this level a step at a time. The eyes of the chief of the Hall of Souls were somewhat complicated as he stared at Xiao Yin. This threat to the Hun clan was someone that they could have eliminated long ago, but due to many unforeseen reasons, they had ended up allowing this threat to grow at a terrifying speed. Now, this threat had reached a level where he could fight on even ground with the Hall of Souls. If one were to toss aside this person's status as an enemy, the Chief of the Hall of Souls felt an admiration for this person in his heart. He had to admit that if it had been him, he would have found it difficult to overcome this strenuous journey and reach the peak of this continent. This chief has an undeniable responsibility in allowing you to grow to this extent. Hence, this time around, I hope to remove that responsibility. The chief of the Hall of Souls smiled. His eyes roamed Xiao Yin, who had an impassive expression, as he slowly stated. I also hope to help end the blood feud of the members of the Xiao clan today. Xiao Yan's voice was soft, but everyone could hear the dense murderous intent contained within his words. He could not forget those many scattered incidents from back then even now. The Xiao clan had ended up breaking apart because of the Hun clan. His father had been captured and members of the clan had been killed. In the end, they were forced to leave their home and flee to spots around the Jiamai Empire. At that time, he did not possess the strength to protect his clan. All he could do was set off with the burden of the blood feud. That journey had undertaken had honed his will. At the same time, his hatred for the Hall of Souls had grown. The chief of the Hall of Souls faintly smiled upon hearing this reply. A dark black dochi slowly surged from his body. He said, Just attack. This chief also wishes to see just how strong you who has experienced a lucky encounter within the demonic flame realm, has become. Bang! Before the chief of the Hall of Souls could utter all that he wanted to say, a low sonic boom was swiftly picked up by his ear. Moreover, the space in front of him shook the moment the sonic boom sounded. A figure appeared in front of him in a ghost-like fashion. Both of his fingers were curled, and a pink fire seedling happily danced in an arc. The temperature of the world rose the moment the pink fire appeared. The attack had arrived extremely quick. Even the calm chief of the Hall of Souls had a stunned expression flash across his eyes. In the next instant, the dark black Do Chi on the surface of his body had agglomerated like a conditional reflex. It swiftly turned into a black shield. Key. Both of Xiao Yan's fingers did not pause. They pressed against the shield, melting it with the dancing pink flame in an instant. After which, his fingers were like lightning as they headed toward the Hall Chief's eyes. Hemph! The Chief of the Hall of Souls let out a cold snort when faced with Xiao Yan's vicious strike. His body did not move. He did not act to defend against Xiao Yan's finger. Instead, he slammed his palm toward Xiao Yan's chest. He was clearly intent on exchanging his eyes for the other party's eyes. Chi, the chief of the Hall of Souls has really schemed well. Xiao Yan laughed upon noticing the strike, but his hand did not halt. Instead, he lowered it and accurately pressed his fingers against the palm of the chief of the Hall of Souls. A pink flame flashed and the dense black Do Chi on the chief's palm quickly melted away. The chief of the Hall of Souls frowned when he felt how overbearing the purifying demonic lotus flame was. His body trembled slightly and many after images appeared. His body reappeared in the air above. His expression was a little dark and solemn as he glanced at his palm. There was a half an inch long mark there. No blood seeped out of the wound because the surrounding blood vessels had been incinerated by the heat radiating from the purifying demonic lotus flame. It is indeed worthy of being the purifying demonic lotus flame. The chief of the Hall of Souls had been injured the moment the fight began. Although it was not serious, it still appeared quite ugly. The fight between the two seemed to be a close quarters fight. Moreover, both parties were as fast as ghosts. 
Within a split second, they had clashed and separated. Other than a few sharp-eyed individuals, most people were a little dazzled by the clash. Their hearts involuntarily felt some yearning while feeling shocked. Xiao Yin lifted his head. He glanced at the chief of the Hall of Souls, but he did not say anything. His hand seals began to change with lightning-like speed. After the hand seals had changed, a 10,000-foot-large, spiritual illusory figure wrapped around the surface of his body. Yellow Spring Divine Anger Xiao Yin did not dare to underestimate such an opponent. He immediately unleashed his extremely powerful soul sonic wave, attack the moment after his first strike. Mao! The enormous illusory figure widened its mouth, and a terrifying spiritual wave smashed toward the chief of the Hall of Souls at a speed that exceeded the speed of light. Xiao Yin, other people might be afraid of your yellow spring divine anger, but this chief isn't afraid of it. The chief of the Hall of Souls pulled back as Black Do Chi erupted from his body. The Do Chi turned into an uncountable number of spiritual illusory figures in front of many stunned pairs of eyes. These illusory figures created a strange formation as they wrapped around him. Their faces were filled with devoted expressions as they knelt down. At the same time, their mouths emitted many spiritual sonic waves. Ten thousand worshipping souls. Countless of spiritual sonic waves gathered in front of the chief of the Hall of Souls before they transformed into a sharp arrow that shot out and violently collided with the yellow spiring divine anger's spiritual assault. Woo 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 woo. The two spiritual sonic waves collided, and in an instant, the mountain range hummed. Many experts paled because of this spiritual fluctuation. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out, and they pulled back with shocked faces. Just the strength of the sonic wave made them completely vulnerable. The sonic waves clashed and spread through the sky. The illusory spirits surrounding the chief of the Hall of Souls exploded one after another. Finally, all of them exploded until nothing remained. His body did not appear to suffer much damage since it had been protected. Xiao Yin ended up frowning upon seeing his attack not do much. It was the first time he had witnessed a spiritual wave attack that could match the Yellow Spring Divine Anger. This chief of the Hall of Souls was indeed knowledgeable. Moreover, the Hall Chief Soul was also at the perfect heavenly state, equal to Xiao Yan's soul state. After this exchange, Xiao Yin had discovered that the strength of the Chief of the Hall of Souls had actually reached the intermediate level of the Five of the Star Do Shang class. In other words, his strength had improved during these two years. Although your spiritual strength is powerful, I'm afraid that it is nothing but whimsical thinking of you wish to use it to defeat this Chief. The Chief of the Hall of Souls randomly broke the final sonic wave attack before he spoke. Xiao Yin glanced at the Hall of Souls chief, but did not reply. He opened his mouth and a pink flame was spat out. Following the appearance of this pink flame, the trees around the mountain emitted puffs and self-ignited in front of many startled eyes, after which they turned into ashes as fierce flames raged. The chief of the Hall of Souls' eyes narrowed when he saw the pink flame float above Xiao Yan's head. His face finally revealed an extremely grave expression. If a frightening heavenly flame like this purifying demonic lotus flame were to invade his body, even he would immediately receive a serious injury. The heavenly flame ranked third on the heavenly flame ranking was not just a flame others could just talk about. This is my first time using the purifying demonic lotus flame to fight an opponent. Hopefully, you will not disappoint me. Xiao Yin lifted his head, looked at the grave-looking chief of the Hall of Souls, and spoke with a smile. Although the demonic flame is powerful, one only needs to look at who is controlling it. The chief of the Hall of Souls spoke in a faint voice. He observed Xiao Yin and the cluster of pink flames. The wisp of an extremely faint black flame suddenly flashed deep within his eyes. It clearly appeared extremely unusual. 
Moreover, the purifying demonic lotus flame might be powerful, but he? Xiao Yin narrowed his eyes. He was vaguely able to detect a strange fluctuation being emitted from within Little Yi's body. Inside this chief's body, there seems to be something present, 